morning everybody. We're starting the week off with a dirty truck. Dirty, dirty truck. Minnesota and we're passing by Fargo North Dakota which has a blue beacon wink wink nudge nudge that's a truck wash for those of you from overseas it's a really nice truck wash in the US we'll uh, see if we can stop in there we're gonna have to do something because this is unacceptable but it is what it is sometimes the truck is dirty but we gotta go to work I know I don't like it either, but this is the way we're starting this week. Rolling dirty. So dirty. Off we go. Better not have any problems at the border today. I got the confirmation yesterday that my load is cleared at Pemina. So when I get there today, they better not have any issues. Because that's the reason I couldn't cross on Thursday. They were having issues with the customs broker. The, the broker that clears the load to cross into the United States. It's just a bunch of paperwork that needs to be filed and done. And if it's not done correctly, well, you can't cross the border with your freight. And our customs broker had a huge outage or something. I don't know. They, uh... <laughs> Some kind of kerfluffle going on there and everybody got backed up. It's one of the big ones, right? So it's not just us that uses them. It's a majority or a good chunk of the freight. From everybody. So everybody was affected by this, right? Not just us. Ah, I think it's all cleared up now though. I mean, we'll see. It's Sunday afternoon. I wanted to leave the shop by 3 p.m. We got out of there at 3.45. Which doesn't mean I'm late, I'm not late. It's just that I wanted to be, wanted to leave earlier, but I, I have to do that to myself so that I actually leave at a time that works. My wife knows this about me too. If you actually want to leave the house by five o'clock, let's say, tell me we gotta leave by four and I'll be ready by five. <laughs> Not every time, but you know, it's just a safe bet, safe way to do it. So we're on schedule. We're gonna deliver this load tomorrow morning. And we'll see where we go from there. I want a full week this week. We don't have anything up until next Saturday. We have a Christmas gathering next Saturday. So I wanna keep myself busy from today on Sunday all the way to Friday. Some serious trucking.
going to Deep River Falls here in Minnesota. Been through here many, many, many times. Most of you have been here through, been through here with me as well many times. We're not stopping here though. We're going to go right through and follow, I believe this is US 59, all the way south down to uh, US 10, I believe. Detroit Lakes. I'll have to double check that. But I'm going to go to the truck stop in Pillager, Minnesota. That's the closest truck stop to Brainerd, and it's right on the way of this, on this road. So I don't have to go like way out of my way to go find somewhere to park. Because I was going to go park right at the customer, but another driver that I met that delivers to the same place has gotten in trouble before for parking at the customer. Even though I've never heard anything against it, but he says that he parked there once. And, uh, you know, they phoned into the company and said, Hey, your driver's not supposed to park here. I don't want to get anyone in trouble or anything. I don't want to get myself in trouble. So I figure, well, you know, Pillager's right on the way. And I'll still be able to be there for my delivery first thing tomorrow morning. And we'll take it from there, you know. Weather is beautiful outside. It's zero Continue degrees Celsius. Continue on this road for 57 kilometers. Actually, it's dropped to minus one, so it's about 30 Fahrenheit outside right now. I hear that there's snow coming this week, though. Not looking forward to that. short vlog today guys very short day in general oh man so we drove about uh, seven hours seven eight hours uh made it down here we're pretty much around the corner from where i have to deliver uh, i'm gonna go straight to bed and uh get up early as early as i can uh as soon as i'm able to get moving and get this freight off my trailer and get ready for whatever they have next. Hopefully there's something that'll be lined up. It'll be Monday morning, so 
there's nothing planned on me yet so they'll they'll need a little bit of time in the morning you know boot up their computers get everything going back in the office and then sort of sniffing around for freight i don't find my own freight i'm contracted so they do all that for me they take care of all the headaches i don't have to deal with any of those headaches it's fantastic i don't even have to deal with the customs brokers across the border it's mint time for bed we'll see you tomorrow thanks for hanging out with me short vlog not not a lot of content tomorrow will be better we're gonna unload and reload should be fun see you then